Today in this video you will learn how to use if function in Microsoft Excel. Sometimes you may face a situation where you must assign a number or text depending upon the value of the corresponding cell. Such job if done manually becomes time consuming and has a scope of doing mistake. In this kind of situation if condition comes handy. In my example here you can see that I have marks of students in this table and I need to assign the result pass or fail depending upon their marks. The criteria is that if the student has scored 35 marks or more then he or she is to be considered as passed and failed otherwise. In next 2 minutes you will exactly know how to assign result like pass or fail if you have such table and a criteria to do this. So stay tuned. Hi, I am your tutor and welcome to my channel learn in 5 minutes. So let's start. Let us first take example of Oliver. He has scored 53 marks and our criteria is that if his marks are more than or equal to 35 then he is to be considered as passed otherwise failed. So if you understood what I spoke then the logic of Excel's if function works identically in similar manner. Let us practically use this. In cell C3 type equal to if and open parenthesis. You can see here that we need to feed 3 arguments to Excel's if function. First is logical test. Second is value if true and third value if false. So let us feed them one by one. Our logical test here is if marks that is B3 is greater than or equal to 35. So if this logic is found to be true then the value we need is double quotes passed. And if this logic is found to be false then the value we need is double quotes failed and close parenthesis. And we got our result. Now we need to do the same for all the rows below. To do this we will just have to copy our cell C3 and paste it below in rest of the cells. And that's it. Wasn't it simple? In this example we had only one criteria that is either passed or failed. But what if we had multiple criteria like scholarship, distinction, passed and failed. Because we saw here that if condition only accepts either true or false. In my next video you will learn how we can handle multiple criteria with nested ifs. So that's all in this video. If you found this video useful please like and share with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel do it right now and press the bell icon besides the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.